Hey everybody, um, sorry it's been about a week since I've put out a video. I've just been uh, busy and I went on vacation from Sunday to Thursday to Pigeon Forge. And we had a good time. There was only one mishap and you know I would be the cause of that. And I have wanted to zip line for years and years and so I got the nerve up to do it and we would zip from one station to another and each time you did it it would get longer and more scary and higher and all that and i was doing real good till i got to i think there was about 10 different levels you went on and i was doing real good until about the fifth level and there was really no instructions before we um, started doing it, um, but a lot of it's just common sense, which I didn't use. And when I got to the landing, I was zipping and I got to the landing, well, I guess the combination of just the excitement and the fear and the, you know, everything of doing it, which by the way, I did really love it. Um, I didn't think to raise my feet to go up on the landing. And um, so I went in on my right side and my right ankle hit the, the side. When I say the landing, it's just a piece of um, lumber that's cut for you to land on. <clears throat> and the right, my right ankle hit that and um, it, I haven't been to the doctor because I really don't think it's fractured at first. I thought it might be. It's just very swollen and painful, but I think that'll go away. And if I feel like it's something I need to do, I will go to the doctor. But <clears throat> I'm terrified of heights, and I conquered my fear doing that, and I'm so glad I did. <clears throat> and whether you're scared of pots or not, if you get an opportunity to zip line, you should because it is very exhilarating. I'm sorry about my voice. You know, sometimes it just gives out on me. Anyway, I'm going to show you my yard sale haul today. It's not that big, but before I do that, um, I got two cards and I wanted to share those with you. And the first one is from uh, Lorraine. I won't say the last name. But she sent this beautiful birthday card to me. And she wrote me a note on her card. And um, we have a lot in common. She's a very sweet lady. Very thoughtful to send me that. Thank you. Lorraine, I enjoyed reading about you and um, and all, and I just think you're a very nice person, and I truly do appreciate your card. And then the other one is from Gina, and you have some very cool writing. I love your handwriting. And she sent me a little happy... Um, spring card and that's so adorable and she wrote me a little note and um, I don't guess she would mind that you see what she wrote but she also put this little silver heart which I thought was so unique and so interesting and I love it and it says smile on it so um, that made me happy too and made my day. So thank both of y'all, Gina and Lorraine. Y'all are very, very sweet people and thoughtful. And, um, Gina sounds like a really lovely and wonderful person too. So thank you. Now, there are three things I got that are too big to bring in and show you. So they'll be at the end of the video. And I'll just show you what few things I got. This is an owl, nightlight, 
plus in here you put your wax it says three but I got it for two and I don't know if it's a name brand or not I'm not sure where it would say it if it was but anyway my daughter collects owls and I got that for her and then I got this ink black ink for a Hewitt Packard number 29 printer and I got this for a dollar I got Bath and Body Works Japanese cherry blossom body cream and it's full it, do, it doesn't feel like it's ever been used and I got it for 50 cents then I got some twisted peppermint hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works antibacterial for 50 cents and I got this book you know I love um, memoirs and this one sounded good all over but the shouting it's about being brought up in the south and being poor and the man overcame that and was very successful and um, anyway I'm looking forward to reading that it doesn't have a lot of pictures which I like to see pictures when I read because it helps me relate to the people I'm reading about but that's okay it just sounds uh, very interesting and it was 50 cents then I got this little basket that has sections in it I'm not sure what I'll do with it but um, it just looked very useful and for 50 cents I just couldn't pass it up then I got this great people of the Bible and how they lived and it's a Reader's Digest book and I thought that would be very interesting reading um, you know because you read about all these people but sometimes you just don't stop and think about how was life for them so I got that and um, and it's got lots of pictures and I'll enjoy reading it and the last thing I got was this it reminds me of Miss Stone Home um, she likes the older coloring books and I found this one for 10 cents and the date on it is um, 1980, 1989 and it's the Velveteen Rabbit and the pages are a little yellowed from age but it's not been colored in and um, Miss Stone Home likes the old coloring books also. She and I like a lot of the older antique type things and if you haven't looked at her channel you should because um, she finds so many neat things so that was that uh, Kaylin got a, a, a Darth Vader or Star Wars whatever the black mask she got that uh, it's a really nice mask anyway she got it for 50 cents and she got two um, little tie I believe they're called stuffed dogs and they were um, I believe they were 50 cents each and that was it so um, anyway um, you'll see at the end the other three things I got but thank you so much for watching I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you soon bye bye these are the things that we got at the yard sales that were too big to show you inside. And this is a brand new porch swing. The man said that he made it himself, but when he finished, he didn't like the design of it and just wanted his uh, money back out of it. And we gave $30 for it. 
so we're gonna have to buy some chains to go on it but um, we're going to stain it and put some kind of protection stuff on it so the outdoors don't make it fall apart then we got this um, dolly thing you can roll it like that or uh, it will lay down and you can use it that way and anyway it was five dollars so my husband's been wanting one for a long time and then this little heater for our garage when my husband's out there piddling around he'll have something to keep him warm so that's it for the yard sales this time have a great weekend and we'll see you soon